Nagpapar ko ka rin ba? Gano? Are you a seafarer? Nakatanggap ka na ba ng LOE or Letter of Employment? Kailangan mo na bang magpa-medical o kumuha ng pre-employment medical examination? Welcome all for today's video. As your Pinay Bihera, I'm gonna share to you 8 tips na pwedeng gawin before taking your PEMI or pre-employment medical examination. Keep on watching. para sa inyo mga paisano is have a good night's sleep. If kaya niyong gawin 2 weeks or 1 week, mas okay. Sabi nga sa proverb, early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. So, tutok pa rin yan. Kailangan natin maka 6 to 8 hours of sleep para umokay yung blood pressure natin, ma-maintain ng mababa. So, napaka-important ng gawin ito, lalo na a day before your medical examination. Don't you know that a good sleep also removes toxins and heals our broken cells in the body? Also, it refreshes our body and nare-recharge tayo, lalong-lalo na sa ating brain. Minsan, pag wala kang tulog, hindi ka mapag-isip ng mabuti. So, Kinakailangan ang enough o sapat na oras ng pagtulog. Number two, we need to exercise. Kailangan natin mag-exercise. So maraming bagay ang nagagawa ng exercise. Overall, exercise makes you relieve stress, increase energy, strengthens your heart, builds strong bone, reduces fats, lower blood pressure, and makes you look younger than your age. Then, huwag yung gagawin yan at least a day before your medical examination. Bakit? So, when you do exercise before your examination, ang heart rate nyo tataas, and also, it will drop your potassium level. So, avoid having strenuous exercise or sobrang pag-ihersisyo isang araw bago magpapa medical exam. Number three is to have a healthy diet. Eat vegetables, Fruits for now, alam ko Filipino tayo, and we cannot avoid rice. But please, for your own good, avoiding rice for one week helps you a lot. Pwede ka mag-reduce ng kinakain mo two weeks or one week before na medical examination mo. Number four, do a fasting at least two to twelve hours before you have your medical examination. It keeps your blood sugar and blood pressure to elevate. So, iwasan muna ang pagkain sa gabi na kahit ano, at least dalawang oras o 12 hours bago kayo magpa-medical examination para ma-maintain nyo yung level o hindi tumaas yung blood sugar nyo at ng blood pressure. Number five, schedule your appointment as early as possible. In the morning is preferably para hindi na kayo mahirapan sa 12 hours fasting nyo mula gabi Hanggang umaga. Number six, do not take any alcohol for at least seven days. Or kung kaya nyo, make it two weeks or more. Mas matagal kayong hindi umiinom, mas magiging okay yung katawan nyo. So remember guys, do not take even a sip kahit isang lago or kahit isang shot lang ng alcohol. Bakit? Kasi yung isang shot, magiging dalawa, magiging tatlo, at maglalasing na kayo. So, control-control muna, guys. A smoker din, control-control mo. Iwasan mag-smoke, kumanigarilyo, at least an hour or two hours before your medical exam. Nakakatulong din yan, magpamintain ng blood pressure ninyo. Number seven, drink lots of water. Well, our body composed of 70% water, so, so no doubt it needs 6 to 8 glasses of water a day. So, kung kaya nyo more, mas better. Lalo na pag nag-exercise kayo every day. So, habang pinapawisan tayo, nag excess tayo ng toxins sa body natin, kailangan natin ma-replenish yung nawalang water. Number 8, 
if my findings kayo before sa medical exam nyo, na alam nyo nang meron kayo, just like if you have a dental problem, kailangan nyo magpapasta, magpaklining, better do it before the examination date. At kumuha kayo ng medical certificate na nagpalinis na kayo o napaayos na yung nipin. That would result to a smooth process on the day of your examination. So most of the time, 1 to 2 minutes ka na lang pag-check and that's it. Hindi mo na kailangan magpalinis sa kanila. So if you have mga back problem naman like dextroscoliosis or mild curvation, pwede naman kayo pumunta sa orthopedics, have them check, patingin nyo yung likod nyo, and always ask for a medical certificate saying that you're fine, you're fit for duty. Para on the day of your medical examination, pag na-x-ray kayo, makikita yun doon. So, isasubmit nyo na lang yung papers nyo doon. No need to do it after the medical exam. So, mas mapapadali yung buhay nyo, di ba? Sana makapasa tayo lahat sa medical examination natin. Because I'm going to have mine too. Lahat ng tips ko sa inyo ay ginagawa ko ngayon. So, that is it for today, guys. I hope you find this helpful. Kung na-enjoy nyo yung video na to, or may natutunan kayo, leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this about living and working on a cruise ship. So, again, this is Mary, your Pinay Viajera, wishing you a good health. Sana makapasa sa medical examination. Adios!